Installing and Configuring Windows Server 2012 Exam Question number 1, Topic 1, You have a server named Server 1 that runs Windows Server 2012 R2. Server 1 has the Hyper-V server role installed. On Server 1, you create a virtual machine named VM1. VM1 has a legacy network adapter. You need to assign a specific amount of available network bandwidth to VM1. What should you do first? A. Remove the legacy network adapter, and then run the set VM network adapter commandlet. B. Add a second legacy network adapter, and then run the set VM network adapter commandlet. C. Add a second legacy network adapter, and then configure network adapter teaming. D. Remove the legacy network adapter, and then add a network adapter. Correct answer, D. Explanation. A. Set VM network adapter command all it configures features of the virtual network adapter in a virtual machine or the management operating system. B. The legacy network adapter doesn't support bandwidth management. C. The legacy network adapter doesn't support bandwidth management. D. Add a new network adapter. The legacy network adapter doesn't support bandwidth management. Question number 2, Topic 1, Your network contains an active directory forest named contiso.com. The forest contains a single domain. The domain contains two domain controllers named DC1 and DC2 that run Windows Server 2012 R2. The domain contains a user named User1 and a global security group named Group1. You need to modify the SAM account name of Group1. Which command alert should you run? A. Add add principal group membership. B. Install adds domain controller. C. Install Windows feature. D. Install adds domain. E. Rename add object. F. Set add account control. G. Set add group. H. Set user. Correct answer, G. Question number 3, Topic 1. You have a server named Server 1 that runs Windows Server 2012 R2. Server 1 has the Hyper-V server role installed. An ISCS ISAN is available on the network. Server 1 hosts four virtual machines named VM1, VM2, VM3, and VM4. You create a LUN on the SAN to host the virtual hard drive files for the virtual machines. You need to create a 3 terabyte virtual hard disk for VM1 on the LUN. The solution must prevent VM1 from being paused if the LUN runs out of disk space. Which type of virtual hard disk should you create on the LUN? A. Dynamically expanding VHDX B. Fixed size VHDX C. Fixed size VHD. D. Dynamically expanding VHD. Correct answer, B. Explanation. The virtual disk needs to be a VHDX file since it is going to be over 2 terabytes in size and it must be fixed size so that the space is already taken on the server. That way the server does not run out of space as the volume grows, even if the actual virtual disk does not yet hold that amount of data. Question number 4, Topic 1 You have a server named Server 1 that runs Windows Server 2012 R2. Server 1 has three physical network adapters named NIC1, NIC2, and NIC3. On Server 1, 
you create an NIC team name Team 1 by using NIC 1 and NIC 2. You configure Team 1 to accept network traffic on VLAN 10. You need to ensure that Server 1 can accept network traffic on VLAN 10 and VLAN 11. The solution must ensure that the network traffic can be received on both VLANs if a network adapter fails. What should you do? A. From Server Manager, change the load balancing mode of Team 1. B. Run the new NetLBFO Team Commandlet. C. From Server Manager, add an interface to Team 1. D. Run the Add NetLBFO Team Member Commandlet. Correct answer, C. Question number 103, Topic 2. Your network contains an active directory domain named contiso.com. The domain contains hundreds of groups, many of which are nested in other groups. The domain contains a user account named User1. User1 is a direct member of 15 groups. You need to identify of which active directory groups user1 is a member, including the nested groups. The solution must minimize administrative effort. Which tool should you use? A. Active Directory Users and Computers B. A. DSI Edit C. Get Add User D. DS Get Correct answer, D. Question number 104, Topic 2. Your network contains an active directory forest named contiso.com. The forest contains five domains. All domain controllers run Windows Server 2012 R2. The contiso.com domain contains two user accounts named admin1 and admin2. You need to ensure that Admin 1 and Admin 2 can configure hardware and services on all of the member servers in the forest. The solution must minimize the number of privileges granted to Admin 1 and Admin 2. Which built-in groups should you use? A. Administrators Local Groups B. Administrators Domain Local Groups C. Domain Admins Global Groups D. Server Operators Global Groups Correct answer, A Question number 105, Topic 2 Your network contains an active directory domain named contiso.com The domain contains a server named Server1 Server 1 runs Windows Server 2012 R2. You need to create a 3 terabyte virtual hard disk, VHD, on Server 1. Which tool should you use? A. Computer Management B. Server Manager C. Share and Storage Management D. New Virtual Disk Correct answer, A. Explanation. For other questions to create a VHD file, you can use computer management. Share and storage management, 2008 only. New storage subsystem virtual disk, this is a virtual disk, not the virtual hard disk. Server manager, you would use this to create virtual disks, not virtual hard disks. You Question have a server number named 100 one that runs Topic Windows 2. Server 2012 R2. On Print1, you share a printer named Printer1. You need to ensure that only the members of the Server Operators Group, the Administrators Group, and the Print Operators Group can send print jobs to Printer1. What should you do? A. Remove the permissions for the Creator Owner Group. B. Assign the print permission to the server operators group. C. Remove the permissions for the everyone group. D. Assign the print permission to the administrators group.
correct answer, C. Explanation. By default everyone can print. This permission needs to be removed.